Welcome to the day 27 of the 30 day challenge with Lovingly Yours English. So how is English language learning going on? I hope you are progressing well. Because all of us believe in learning, continuous learning is the key. And from my very first video I have been insisting on the fact that learning practice, learning practice must go hand in hand. Because you know guys, learning is the only thing that, get, that gives you power and uh, it can cut across any wall that anybody can ever raise in your life. Goes through every ups and downs, helps you. It holds your hand and you know, it uh, glitters beyond gold or diamond throughout every season. But what does it require? It demands time. And you know what? Corona has given us the dream time for learning new skills, and even spending time in sharpening the skills that we already have or the skills in which we believe in. So join me today in sharpening our skills with words. How do we instill power into our vocabulary to make ourselves convincing? We have to make ourselves convincing, yes? So join me in the workroom for day 27. So let's begin, yes? So the tools. You must have your notebook and pen with you. And I would like all of you to just wear your listening hats to do active listening. Now, we're going to talk about the prerequisites before we decide to speak. Yes? What are the things we require to speak? And uh, you know, you'll be delighted once you do this exercise, you'll be delighted to see the difference between you before Corona and after Corona. We are going to sharpen ourselves. Since we are on the path to becoming friends with English, I am not going to overload you with information, do's and don'ts and this, 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 this. Now, I just, I'm just going to discuss uh, just three important things that we must keep in mind before we, you know, prepare ourselves to speak. Right? Our memory is, uh, you know, attuned to remember things in three. So let us take down this journey of learning three things at a time. Now, one most important thing that I would like all of you to keep in mind is these three steps are not to be done just before a speech or uh, before the day. No, these are the three tools that keep you prepared throughout. So this has to be done regularly on a routine basis. And then you can see you, you will be ready at the spur of the moment. Anybody asks you to speak? Oh, here I am. I am ready. Yes, you can be ready. You can be the ready man for any speech anytime. I would like you to do experiment on yourself. Take two days, okay? Just two days. One day when you get up and look at yourself into the mirror, uh, just start, uh, you know, by the negatives. Oh, what happened? You're looking very tired. You've got dark circles. Or why well, your hair is looking so bad? You're not, you're not looking fresh at all. Oh my God, I'm looking tired. I'm not healthy. I have a pain. I don't know how the day is going to be. Okay? This is one day. Now, the next day when you get up, look at yourself in the mirror and say, Oh my God, you're looking brilliant. Wow, hair. Your, your skin is so good. You're looking fresh as a flower. You're going to rock today. You're going to have the best day of your life today. Okay? This is the principle. This is a, an experiment that I would like you to do on yourself and write about the experience that you had that day. Okay? So please note down this point in your notebook, the second section of your notebook, to do this experiment. Please do it immediately. Okay? But do it, not, not now, whenever you're listening to this video, not now. When you get up from your sleep, the next morning, right? And uh, please record your experience in the second section of your notebook. Please put a date 27 and write about your experience. And uh, also record the experience that you had on the second day. This experiment is going to decide the future progress and I'm sure it's going to just propel the propel your practice or propel your uh, preparation for becoming the best speaker because appreciation gives us the required thrust to move ahead and what better when you start appreciating yourself because we are the last person yes we are the last people to appreciate ourselves that's very sad we are ready with appreciations with compliments to the others but when it comes to ourselves we keep we keep it to the last yes or maybe never do it 
but that's not the key the key is first appreciating yourself look at this picture now in this picture the cat when it sees its reflection it is seeing itself as a lion two are different yes very different the characteristics are different but once the cat starts seeing itself as a lion it starts to you know almost uh, absorb the qualities of the person who it wants to be so similarly you might have people who have inspired you or you whom you want to you know uh, become like that was the first point now the second point let's come to the second and very important and excited this is very exciting to me because i love this particular step now take out the notebook which is already open i know it is open in front of you and uh, just take out your pen and just write uh, the names of the speakers to whom when you listen to you feel inspired you feel some fire in you you're awakened or you become alert you become happy you become you know you enjoy listening to them just write down the names of those uh, five or 10 speakers whom you want to listen again and again okay take a minute you can pause the video here we'll stop i'll stop right here for you to finish the task but be very thoughtful okay as you're doing the task i want to share my set of speakers my uh, you know the 10 people whom i listen to uh, whenever i get time so i would like to share those names with you maybe you would love to listen to them and i would highly recommend if you can just listen to them once in a while i listen to them almost whenever i get time i listen to them because each one of the speaker who is there in my list uh, you know has a different uh, quality and we want to get the best of every quality okay not just one quality because you know there's no perfect speaker there's no perfect speaker but all of them have uh, maybe uh, 80% 90% or maybe 75% of the qualities that we are looking uh, at or the qualities that we want to learn and uh, uh, get absorbed into ourselves the picture that you're seeing right now is the first person to whom i listen and i follow and that is uh, dr kiran bedi the most inspiring person in my life she is a lady with a lot of conviction she has gone through all the hardship she has been the she is she was the first woman ips officer so it whenever you listen to such people you you get all the courage in your life to 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 step out to step out from your comfort zone and that is what we all require we want somebody to do the hand holding and she does it for me the second most inspiring person in my list and to whom i listen to very forceful and very assertive and these are the two qualities which i learned from her to be assertive and forceful in your speech fearlessness that's uh, the third point that she teaches me you have to be absolutely fearless she has uh, you know learned it the hard way she's been you know um, somebody whom i always wanted to meet to you know to talk to her but unfortunately she is no more it is just going to be uh, my dream and uh, a dream that can never be fulfilled again the third person in my list is none other than our pm narendra modi ji i love listening to him because he has a very a beautiful way of connecting with audience whatever be the topic he quickly connects it so well with the audience that uh, you're not able to you're not able to stop the speech in between and that's one thing i love about him and he's you know a people speaker a speaker who speaks for the people he gets people involved into his speech from the beginning till the end the next person is not a surprise he is uh, arnab gosami almost uh, the touch bearer of journalism the new kind the new age of journalism he has given a new identity to journalism itself to the profession and when i when i see him talking i see how how passion how passion can change the way you talk how much passion conviction you require to make yourself heard so that is uh, one thing i love about the way he speaks dr shashi tarur is the next on the list he I have been listening to him for quite long number of years. The range of vocabulary you must have in order to put, you know, transfer your message to the to the next person, to the listeners, so beautifully. And uh, the most important thing that I like about his speeches is the way he, you know, um, intertwines uh, humor into his speeches. 
diction, his range, his humor, his abundant information, you know. These are the things that I learn when I listen to Dr. Shashi Tharoor. Barack Obama is another person whom I look up to when it comes to the art of speaking. He has such, the moment he starts speaking, you know, you just, 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 just get glued to him because every sentence, most of his sentences have too many parallels, uh, you know, glued into them. And he is such an amazing speaker that uh, most of his words, his thoughts, he rounds them up very well. And it's an amazing quality. And Jordan B. Peterson is the next speaker whom I have started following quite recently, though. Uh, and he was in, he, as a speaker, he was introduced to me by my nephew. And I'm, I have, I'm so happy that he did that. And from that time, I have been following all his speeches. Jordan B. Peterson, to me, sounds to be very outspoken. But I also see poise in him, uh, an unassuming quality in himself when he talks. And that is what has, uh, you know, made me listen to him again and again. I also love listening to Patrick Bet David because when I see him speaking is his heart out. In, in a minute, he wants to give information, which is, uh, you know, almost uh, uh, you can speak for an hour, actually. How much information he builds into his speeches and the passion with which he, he speaks. He wants people to, he, he wants uh, genuinely, sincerely wants, pe wants to help people out there. Okay, so he's another person that I've started following recently and David uh, was introduced to me by my son. Another person whom I follow very closely when I talk of speaking is my professor, Dr. K. Ganesh. The moment he started speaking, information will be just pouring in and the sincerity that every word, every word that he speaks brims, you know, brims uh, with sincerity and genuinity, concern. He touches uh, with whatever he speaks and that is again one quality that I would like to absorb in my skills. Now, when we talk of following or getting inspired by somebody, we're talking of the qualities that they exhibit. Now, here, when it when we, we are talking of art of speaking, so we are talking of the qualities in which they excel when they speak. Okay, so just because you follow somebody, it, it doesn't mean that you follow their philosophies also. Okay, that is a part, that is your choice. But when we talk of speaking, we are looking at particular qualities because we want to become convincing speakers. We want to speak such that people love to listen to us. Now, from all these speakers, I, I take up the qualities which I want to mold in myself. So I have shared my list with you. I would love to see all your lists uh, with the names of people whom you would love to listen again and again. It's not one time listening. We're not talking of one time listening. We are talking of the people who give you joy when you listen to them. So the second task is you make a list of the people whom you like to listen to and with the reason why you like listening to them. That is very important. What is the quality that you like in them? What is the quality that makes you enjoy listening to them? Okay. So the first task was, you remember that. The second task, listing out the names of uh, uh, speakers whom you love to listen to whenever you're free. Okay, that's the second task. When you're going to talk to somebody on some topic or when you're going to give a speech, tell me, can you speak without having any information? Information is the key. Information is the king. All these speakers whom I actually, the names uh, I shared with you, they all have a lot of information. If you're going to speak for a minute, you must have information at least for three or five minutes because when you go out there to speak, the time goes faster and also words go very fast out of your mouth because maybe because one reason is you're nervous or you know, it, it quickly goes out. So if you're, prepare, if you're preparing yourself to speak for one minute, have information for at least three, four or five minutes for you to you know, be in the safe, uh, safe position. And for this, we require information. So that is the third point, to collect information. When you're listening to speeches, when you're listening to people who are speaking, just have your notebook and pen ready so that you continue your hunt for information. Because you are becoming selfish, you are getting information for yourself and you're also getting another, uh, you know, another beautiful quality of how to arrange information or what in that particular information should be shared. It again depends upon the topic that you're going to speak, but whichever be the topic, irrespective of the topic, we need to, we need to, we need to 
we need to prepare ourselves with maximum information if we have enough information then the next thing is only to arrange it in order whichever you're going to uh, whatever depending upon the topic or the the occasion or the the the, the listeners okay so the first thing is preparation getting enough information into your bag okay so that you can use it whenever you want to so to so to become masters you require information and that is where listening plays a very important part so keep listening to your your most loved speakers and keep getting information people who have the right information and people who have prepared themselves with the information become confident they are the most confident people information gives you confidence and that is why this exercise of listening to your most inspiring people whenever you get time so this is just uh, you know this is the first task on our road to become an awesome speaker now this being the first video on speaking i am just uh, giving you this three points and every video that i will be making under speaking will have three three small points so that it becomes easier for us to follow it up. okay so please get uh, get into the shoes and start getting collecting information and remember the first task the first the second and the third all these three tasks have to become a routine ensure okay. yourselves that you will be doing these three tasks regularly in order to become that forceful formidable speaker okay so until i see you in my next video stay home stay safe and stay calm think intelligently and please do subscribe like and share this video amongst your friends thank you